and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to, ex how to export objects including the grids. So someone asked me how it is possible to do that. If you just need individual guides, you just have to draw them with the Bezier tool by hand. But if you need the entire grid, you can simply render it. I wanted to do a video about that anyway, so let's combine it. So we go to extensions, render and grid. I'll check the live preview. These values, they are set in pixels. So that's the unit that's used here. And an offset, we've got it set to zero. The rest is self-explanatory, I guess. Click on OK and we've got our grid. And if we now create an object, you can see we've got the snapping enabled. And I've got these two checked, so that way my object snaps to the grid. Let me give that a different color. And if I wanted now to export it with the grid, I'll just have to select both elements. You can just treat it as a regular object and export it as a PNG. And it would look like something like this. You can also put your elements in the background and have the grid on top. Just use the align menu for that. Once again, select both. So make always sure that you've got the grid selected as well and it would look like this. So the grid that was rendered is basically treated as simple strokes. So if you want to cut that down to a certain size, let me get rid of this object. You can just treat it as strokes and use the path menu. So let me just assume I wanted to cut off this bottom part of the grid. All I would have to do is to select the grid entirely and go to path, stroke to path. So now it's converted to a path. And now I put the bottom part on top of the grid. I selected both. And then I go to path and use difference. And that's the way to cut the grid to a size that you specifically need. One more piece of advice. You can also give this grid a different color now or play around with the opacity. So sometimes that looks way better and you need that specific effect. So with a low opacity it looks like this. And you can also give it a different color, but make sure now that it's a path that you are under fill and not stroke paint. And you can give it this typical turquoise color that's used for guides and grids sometimes. And once again, you can play around with the opacity. Always make sure that both are selected and you can treat it as regular objects. So to the one asking, I hope this answers your question and in general, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.